What up? What up? How's everybody doing out there? Us too. Yeah, we're doing pretty good as well. well. Oh boy, do we got a fun show tonight. That's right. But we're missing somebody first. Yes. Da Todd. Da Todd. Todd wouldn't Todd? make it. So the next four shows will be without the Todd. Da Todd. But we have the fill-in. The fill-in. <laughs> the fill <-in. laughs> the fill <-in. laughs> Steve, brother. His first name is Steve. Fill-in is his last name, folks. So just in case you wanted to know. Yes. Well, at least you're not asking me to play Santa Claus in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So this is perfect because that's based on our topic. Yes. Yes, it is. Is Tonight we're going to talk about our top three Christmas movies. Top three. And what Steve's talking about is my daughter's birthday is on uh, December 20th. Mm -hmm. And I needed a Santa Claus. And I got skinny Santa Claus. <laughs> can't pick a skinnier Santa Claus. <laughs> it was so bad. I hope we can wow. find the pictures and post those yes. for this show. That would be awesome. Would be oh great. God, you got him. Yeah, you it's got him. You better find Santa Claus him. you've ever seen in your life. It's it's awesome. Anyways, we're gonna talk about our top Christmas movies as we're coming up here into Christmas, right? Yep. Um, top Christmas movies. So top three, each one. Yep. And then uh, whatever I pick is gonna be the winners. Liar. Anyway, because um, he's absolutely wrong, by the way. But anyway, Mr. Fillin. Would you like to start? This is your number three. My number yeah. three is very easy. Okay. And I know the hater is going to hate it, but Die Hard. I am three. sorry, but it is a Christmas movie. Nothing better. It's number than the... three? Well, yeah, because, I mean, the first, the next two. For what you pick. What all I pick, right, I have All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll let that. Be. It could slide to two, <clears throat> but can't slide anymore. All right, no, that's fair. That's fair enough. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. I mean, that's the way to start off. Yeah. Yes. All right. You know. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Mm, this one's a classic. It's The Grinch. Who doesn't love him? Like, I would love to meet him in real life. I agree. Yeah. Which right one, here. though? Jim Carrey or the cartoon by Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh. I love Jim Carrey, but yeah. I want the green fuzzy guy, you know? Like, I, I want to meet and greet with him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I get it. I get you. All right. I like the gringle, huh? Yep. Yes. What do you got? Oh, no, you go. Let me go with my third. All right, my third is a Christmas story. No, oh, you'll shoot your eye out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's my third. You know how much money that guy gets just for that show, just playing on the movie. But he's a producer, he's an actor, he's in all sorts of stuff. Oh still. my god. People just don't know it. I'm impressed. I'm actually. But that's my number three. I love that movie. There's some movies that are even not even hit my list that I love. Yeah. But gosh, you know what? That that movie forever plays all during the Christmas season. It does. Twenty four hours. Oh. They even had a sequel. Yeah. People don't know that. It was a server oh. film. Yeah, it was horrible. It was awful. And yeah. then they tried another sequel sequel, which was a little better. It does have the best holiday decoration item. Bar yes, none. that's right. I mean, lamp. you have to have the lamp. That lamp is Christmas. absolutely phenomenal. So I actually, my brother, when you buy him a Christmas present, he has to sleep with his Christmas presents every year. So one year I actually bought him the lamp. So he had to sleep with that lamp in his bed that night. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like it. But it's got some of the best one-liners in movies. It does. It does. Um, but it also brings it's you it's so much the wide range of like a family dysfunction and at the same time the caring of, of the holidays and the excitement of Christmas and... I just love that movie. It's one of my It wasn't a box office writer. hit. It, the Red it just became a cult classic. Yeah, it did. So, yeah. It truly did. Well, Darren McGavin. I mean, yeah. I love that guy too. He's awesome. Uh, awesome actor. So. Anyways, that was my number three. All right. Well, that was going to be my number three, so I'll, I'll boot it off the list. Oh, okay. Because okay. you won't bring something else in. Yeah, because okay. it did, this one is something that I was on the fence with, and it's a newer one. And it's more of a jingle all the way office party. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen Office Party yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It is the best Christmas movie out there. But it's your number three. So it how is. could it be the best? Well, it's the third best, I meant to say. Excuse well, me. Okay. On. If you want to laugh and you want to I almost laugh. cry, you definitely want to see Office Party. Yes. All right. I all haven't right. seen I'll that. Check it out. Oh, yeah. I'll check it out. Oh, yeah. You have to. It's with uh, Jennifer Aniston mm -hmm. 
and oh, what's the dude that's in Ozark right now? What's his face? Uh, Bateman, Jason Bateman. Mm -hmm. You gotta see it. Yep. It's hysterical. You haven't seen it, have you? I have, but I can't remember the people that were in it. That's okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else we got? So number twos? Yep. Number twos. All right, go ahead. That's Allie. all you. That's all you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta go with the Santa Claus. You gotta get Tim Allen in there. The Santa Claus. They're the all Santa good. Yeah. They're all good, but the first one. I get it. I get you. I pick up what you're throwing down. I like it. The Santa I, Claus is good. You know what? Those were great movies. Yes. Well, it's Honestly. a trilogy. That's what you yeah. know. Well, it's a trilogy, but it, Tim Allen. Yeah. So much fun. Adding him into the mix, I, that is a good movie. And it's a good premise on how it all worked and everything, so I like that. Yes. And he grew his own beard for it. Exactly. You know, I mean, that's important. That's he impressive. Everything. Numerous times, by the way. You know, Kevin, yes. he had to shave it, and I kept back, shave it, turn back, you know. <laughs> good for him. I'm, like, impressed that he could grow a beard that quick. Yeah. Because, I mean, it takes me, like, this is, like, well, that's days. been a but anyway, since we, since we filmed that one show, yeah, that too, yeah, exactly. Okay. So my next one is like tied for one and two because I'm gonna be honest, the, the Christmas movies we watch are repetitive. Like we watch the same two yeah. every year. Fair so enough. that is Elf. Elf is Elf. such a classic. Oh, I, get you. I eat what he eats for breakfast every day. I put mm. syrup on everything. Like if if there's not syrup, I won't eat it. Like my my out of the elf. Yes, yeah. I I love. I would love to be an elf. I'll just stick my little hair behind my ears and I'll just shine. I like it. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Let's just, uh, the great one liners there too. Oh god, classic yeah. movie. Yes. Oh yeah, funny. Santa Claus. I know him. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a that's a that's definitely gotta be in the top threes. Yes. Definitely. For people. Yes, I agree. I agree. Good one. Definitely. But I'm gonna do a shameless plug really quick. Oh we now have coffee buns available. That we do on our store, yes. which you is gotta at like what up dot the what up right? Yes. Yes, whatupstore.com. Whatupstore.com. Really cool coffee buns. Hey, you gotta yeah. like it. And don't forget we got t shirts. Yes, see? Ooh. Also, get your mug by Christmas so you can be drinking hot cocoa watching a Christmas movie. We, we are giving you so many ideas. That's right. Are they in yet? You can order right now. That's well, no, I'm talking about the other thing. Oh, we'll have to bring that out. We do. We don't have hats available. We have oh. hats for us. So oh, we're working on man. it. We'll bring that out in another show. Yes, we will. Yeah, we will. Hey, uh -huh. stay tuned for our next show because we'll definitely be bringing it out for them. Yep. All right? Absolutely. So you can see them. They're pretty sweet. Yeah, if you're going to want one, they're trucker hats with our logo. It'll be really cool. You'll love it. That's right. Break I want to see you in a trucker hat. That'll happen <laughs> on the next show. You're All right. Come right right on. Got to check it out. <laughs> All right. All right. So the, my number two is one that... Um, brings I think the Christmas spirit back some people love it or they just hate it mm -hmm. but I think it really brings the spirit back of Christmas and that's the Polar Express oh it's a good story very cute yeah I can wait a minute wait a minute wait Oh, that's one where you just kind of like you said the cocoa yes. the marshmallows you, you gotta read back. the book for that no you gotta yes. read the movie <laughs> Yeah, the movie. The movie. Yeah, it's I agree. So I and my little story on that one is um, we went to ride one of those Polar Express trains because you can like get tickets and do that, and the trains will do that around the areas around here. And it was in Sonoma Grade, and uh, we were driving down, and we forgot our tickets. We were almost there. We had to drive back to get our tickets. When we got back, the train was gone. We missed it. We were so upset. So we were sitting there, and the guy who works there came over and gave. Um, Kira, who was I think, two at the time, uh, one of the bells with the little, uh, which is part of the movie. Like, if yeah, you've seen the movie, the bell will make a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yes. So we missed it, but we still made a good thing out of it and stuff. So, can you still hear the bell ring? I can still hear the bell ring. It's good. Yeah. And the bell goes. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows that joke. We have to see if we can ever find that footage. Oh my it's god! It's our very first show. It's one of our bloopers. We'll figure it out if we can find that one. One of these days. That'll be funny. Anyway, so my number two yeah. is your favorite National Lampoon family and mine. Yeah. 
Christmas Vacation. Oh, yes. The best number two out there, let me tell you. Clark. Yeah. You know, how can you not love a guy that's supposed to get a raise and then, well, as we know, the rest. Absolutely. And then the in-laws and then Cousin Eddie. Oh, yeah. how can you not love when Cousin Eddie comes to, you know, visit? And you know, that one probably has more merchandise of any yes. Christmas movie there is out there. I mean, you see the moose class oh, yeah. classes they drink the, um, the eggnog out of, and you see Christmas ornaments. And I just saw a really cool house of theirs that you can buy, and it lights up, and all the, all the bright lights on it and everything. There's just a lot of merchandise you can see around that. Great, great movie. Oh, yeah. But the best scene, come on, the best scene from that is when they're going sledding down the hill. Oh, yeah. And he puts that Astro Glide or whatever it is on the bottom of it and freaking goes, Did you really say Astro Glide? Well, that's what he put on there, so. Yeah, that's what he put on there. (laughs) Isn't that what it was? Sure. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did I screw something up? <laughs> I think I screwed something up somehow, some way that I have no idea. But hey, well, you know they're not a sponsor, but they could but they be. Can be, be. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But with the look that I just got, I don't think he wants them to be. So anyway, thank you, folks. Glad that I was able to embarrass everybody because oh, that's my awesome. job here at What Up with Rob and Chris, the <laughs> panel. Yes. So that's a good, solid group of movies right now. Yeah, I know. We're, good. We've got strong work going. So we're coming up on number ones. Yes. But before we do that, we have to thank one of our biggest sponsors. Yes. Anchor by Spotify. Thank you guys so much. Like always, we greatly appreciate you for being our sponsor on our podcast, which you will can find at iTunes, Spotify. Radio. That too, yes. Uh, My Heart Radio, Stitcher, Pandora, like and 50,972. Yeah. You guys can find us. Make sure you ask an Alexa, say Alexa, play What Up with Robin Chris, and guess oh, yeah. what? It'll play. It will. It's pretty it's cool. awesome. It yeah, oh, yeah. The other one, I think it's probably one of our other more important sponsors. Oh my God, this one's ginormous. It, this, uh, this Lee's alley. pictures. Absolutely. We love you. Yes, Thank absolutely. you for snapping the pics, making the memes, and capturing us from day to day. We appreciate you coming out to sports games yeah. and you know all over, taking those action shots one click at a time. Absolutely. I was just out announcing a football game on Friday, and uh, they were out there taking pictures. So, yes. And then you know, another really cool thing I'm going to say, because we've added 65 Sports to our mix, yep. into our brand. 65 Sports series. you got to check it out. Yeah, so we've filmed a bunch of them, and we're a little behind on some editing, but we've interviewed some great great people oh my and, god uh, yes this will be actually probably about the same time that this comes out it'll be about the same time that ali's brother will be on yes Ooh. cameron Ooh. is being interviewed uh, and he is a sack b reporter for yes. sports uh prep sports in the area and i think he just did the 49er interview or uh, yeah, uh covered to that today. Game today so really excited to interview him tomorrow as well yes and also fun fact his birthday's on christmas Oh so my gosh! We're be celebrating him. Well, happy birthday Christmas on movie. Christmas. That's yes. great. Oh boy, got robbed. Uh, no, I know, but it's okay. We we like decorate the kitchen all birthday. Yeah, they they actually do Christmas in July. <laughs> yeah, we so it. you know just to celebrate, it, make his birthday yeah. that huge, that yeah. much better, right? Yeah, there you go. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Nice. A little, little, it works. Little yes, Christmas boy. Exactly. All right, let's get on to top Well, one. we do have to give the Todd a shout out. Even though he's not here. Not. No, we'll get him. We, we'll Todd, get him. we're still shouting we you out. We still love you, Todd. Love right. you, man. Next, we have our top, our number one. Yes. Mr. Fillin. Home Alone. Come on. Oh. How could you not go oh. Christmas movies? Number one and not say hello. It doesn't matter how old you get, you still turn that one on first and you still watch it again last. That's so true. Always. No. No. But I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you because it's your choice. Home Alone. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, exactly. I think it's good. Yeah. Um, I I honestly say Home Alone is definitely one of the top ones because if I was in that situation, the things I would do, like... Top tier, like I, I want to be in that situation, you know, just a way. I concur. Yeah, and you get to count how many times as they really would die. <laughs> I mean, come on, how many times yeah. can you die? At Nine thousand seven hundred and twenty-two okay. times. Point three. That true. <laughs> exactly. All right, you ready? I'm ready. 
All right, what's your numero uno? I was saying Home Alone. Oh, you are? Oh, wow, we got yeah. two of Whoa, whoa, that's, that's impressive. Amazing. That's really good. Yes. All right. And you weren't going to give it to him at all. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to go. I want to see if we're going to go for three for yeah. three on Home Alone or three. Right. Oh, God, no. What? And the so absolute best and only Christmas movie out there in this whole entire world. And yes, folks, it is a Christmas movie. I don't care what anybody says. Gremlins. Die Hard. Yippee ki yay. I'm not going to say the rest because this is a PG rated show. But you what know what? You've been PG. What? What have you ever been PG? I don't. It was under 12. No. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but he's right. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It is. It is. It is. Gets you it and it's the best, period. Case closed. I don't care what anybody says. All right. Well, I'm going to beat him. Uh oh. Ready. So I was all down for The Home Alone. I was down for yes. Elf. I was down for, you know, all these great ones. Miracle, mm -hmm. right? You got all those great movies. But the best movie ever is Die Hard. You know. Oh. What? No. By far. No. Absolutely no. the best Christmas movie ever. The one. Number one. Number one. The two. One. Nakatomi Center. Of Chicago. Yeah, you Nakatomi Center. Not Way better movie. movie. Come Way on. better movie. No. The camaraderie with. Uh, <laughs> no. no. So, like I said, no. I was going to win. No, you're not. <laughs> you're fired. Actually, I think Home Alone won. Yeah, Home Alone actually won, yeah. Two. Two for two. All right. That was great. So, my next question is, is this. While we're wrapping it up, yeah. anybody want to give a quick shout out to what they may have as a honorable mention? A quick one before we wrap this up. Uh, honorable mention? Yeah. Like, was it Miracle? Was it 32nd Street? That's 34th Street. 34th Miracle. Street. Yeah, that's that's up there. You gotta you gotta love that. Yeah. Um, you gotta love Christmas with the Cranks. I, you know what? Okay, so that's there, a good one. I can't believe I didn't even put that in my top three because it is that good. It is it funny. Is. It is funny. That yeah. actually is a great one. So that's that'd be my honorable oh, yeah. mention then. Yeah. But my honorable mention is Frosty the Snowman. Who doesn't want to give him yeah, a Yeah, you know what? That's really good. Who That's good. Gremlins, you said earlier, too. That's another good one. I like Gremlins, but I'm going to go kind of that sideways as well. Krampus. I mean, that is a great holiday movie, Krampus. I'm giving you a shout out, Krampus. Why? I have no idea. I don't know like where it. that's coming from, but. Yeah, I know. I'm just. It's my demented side. Let's let's end on a good note. We love you guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you guys have a great one. Love you. What up?